Attention business owners, are you on the VIP list? It's the Pet Pals TV business directory. You can find new customers and let everyone know you support Pet Pals TV and our mission to save dogs, cats, and critters. Looking for a pet photographer? Find it in a flash. Need daycare for your doggy? The directory delivers. List your business online for just $99 a year. Go to PetPalsTV.com. Who says there are no more monsters or secrets or adventures out there? Seems Jeremy Wade finds them all the time. He is the host, he's a biologist, and he is with River Monsters, the number one series on Animal Planet. Congratulations for that. Let's start off with that. You must be very proud. Thank you, Patty. Yes, I mean, um, originally it was just a single program, um, and I was quite surprised that that turned into one series. Here we are, season five. Well, and tell us where you are right now. We see fish behind you. Where are you? You're in Baltimore? Well, I'm at the National Aquarium, yes, and although it does feel like it could be Australia. These are all Australian fish behind me. There's barramundi, those are the big silvery ones. There's a couple of very big stingrays in there as well, oh. so I'm feeling quite nostalgic now for Australia. <laughs> I was going to say you feel right at home. Uh, people always want to make you feel comfortable. Did, did biology lead you to this? Um, well, I used to be a biology teacher. Um, okay. <laughs> you know, and I, and I, well, I, I don't know. I think I think life, in a way, is a bit like fishing. You know, there's you know, there's there's, there's, there's work and preparation involved. But there's also a certain amount of luck. Um, right. Before I was doing this on TV, I was travelling on my own quite a bit. I was writing about it, and for a long time, I thought, you know, there's there's got to be some TV potential here because a lot of particularly freshwater creatures, um, people don't know about. Now I want to do something that fishermen never do when they catch one of these monsters. Have a look at it, then release it alive, back into the river. And the fish you bring out look like something out of, that George Lucas would come up with from a, from a horror movie. And you know, and then you have the people who are an indigenous to the area going, oh, there's a big fish in there. And I'm like, yeah, right. And then they bring up these huge monsters. And you sometimes are out there all day and all night dragging the fish out of the water. Um, are you surprised sometimes by what you find? Uh, very much so. I mean, the thing that motivates me is curiosity. Sorry, there's some birds in here as well. I'm hoping they're not sort of confusing things too much, and they, they, they just kick off occasionally. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the thing is, um, you know, the fish you know, in fresh water can be very big. Um, I've caught several species of fish, um, you know, six or seven species of fish that are actually considerably bigger than I am. And also, you're right, they, you know, they tend to be very ugly, some of them. A lot of that comes down to the fact that they're in a world, you know, it's a lightless world, so they don't use their eyes very much, which oh. explains why a lot of them, like some of the catfish here, are actually <laughs> sort of covered in tentacles for feeling their way around. Thank you for the adventure, and looking forward to seeing you find the Loch Ness Monster in this next series. We'll see how you do. Thank you again.